I couldn't pass up the chance to call in at Tim Phillips' wooden boat shop while travelling through Victoria a little while ago. It was mid-morning, so no chance of a beer o'clock at the boat shed. There's a modest shop front and office, but multiple large sheds and a huge yard out the back. It's the biggest wooden boat building and maintenance centre in Australia. It's the home of the Cooter Boats, but looks after other wooden boats as well, and they're currently building several large new boats. So this is an efficient 44 under construction. It's, um, we call this boat E3. This is the third model of that version that we've done. And um, it's um, just getting close to completing the woodwork on it. And then we'll do painting and mechanical fit out. And Over one. here we've got um, what we call a tideways launch, which is a 36 foot displacement boat which is built traditionally with planks and ribs and that's loosely based on the old Pompey style launches. Um, we've built one of these before called Tideways which has been to the Hobart Wooden Boat Festival several times and it's a great um, room the all round boat. There's also a couple of big strip plank boats coming together. A 50 and a 44. Yep. Yeah. And an old Pompey trawler awaiting restoration. They service the bulk of the cooter boat fleet with programmed maintenance like on these centre boards as well as getting into high-tech stuff like this computer-controlled cutting machine. The, the cooter boats have evolved as the local fishing boats from Port Phillip Bay and Victoria coastal waters. And there, um, there's been a resurgence of um, cooter boats in the last few decades, um, thanks to the Cooter Boat Association and people like Tim Phillips. Started building and restoring cooter boats back in the early 1980s and um, it's built up into being a very popular recreational type of boat um, used for um, racing and um, day sailing. So we have a, a fleet of cooter boats at Sorrento that is prob there's probably about 60 boats and regularly racing we'd get, you know, between 20 and 40 boats depending on the event. Uh, sometimes as many as 60 with other boats coming from different areas. Um, the racing is highly competitive and um, there's all degrees of skill levels among the skippers and crews. And the top end of the Division 2 guys are also very serious about their racing. The Port of Queenscliff is where boats were the largest fleet was and they had the train that would take the fish to Melbourne and every day the boats would sail out through Port Phillips Head <laughs> well before sunrise and uh, catch their load of cooter then they'd race back to um, get their fish off the boats nice and fresh onto the train to Melbourne so yeah. um, you know, all sorts of weather um, often they'd have to row the boats bring them um, back in or to get out to the fishing grounds. Yep. Chris is a senior apprentice here and has had a dream apprenticeship, being trusted to build this Pompey style motor launch as its main builder from scratch. Yeah, I got the keel out of stock and um, Tim and Wayne have helped me through the building process, showing me along the way and I'm working with one of the other apprentices who's helping me and um, it's a great project to work on building a traditional boat with such good advice. Planking and um, the ribs are all sedrata, which is an African hardwood. They're laminated steam bent ribs, it's two, two layers, and the um, keel and stem are all of um, Western Australian karai, which was 
beautiful timber to work with. Yep. And then the um, floor structure here is all Oregon and with a mix of a few different hardwoods for the um, fuel tank hangers and things like that. And the lining is Cedrella, which is a light, lightweight timber. And the deck is a Roco, which is what the cabin size will be as well. Yep. My next stop was Queenscliff across Port Phillip Heads from Sorrento, so we caught the ferry. These are the waters that the cooter boats had to sail through to get to the fishing grounds offshore and back through the heads, an area known as the Rip for good reason. An albatross came by to remind us that just out there is Bass Strait and beyond that, the Southern Ocean. The wooden boat shop is a one-stop shop for wooden boats, making their own castings, fittings and wooden blocks. Have a look at their website, woodenboatshop.com.au and for more on the cooter boats, see cooterboat.com.au. Thanks for watching and we'll check out some other wooden boat yards soon here at Smithy's Boat Shed.